Welcome to Sora. Let's get started by creating our first video. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the composer. This is where you can write in text to describe exactly what you want to see in your video. I want to see a family of woolly mammoths in an open desert. Before I create this clip, I'll review my settings. I can add a style preset. I can change the aspect ratio, increase the resolution, increase the duration, and even change the number of variations of clips from a single prompt. And finally, hovering over the help icon will tell me exactly how many credits will be used by creating a video at these current settings. And this all looks perfect. You can go ahead and hit create and you'll see the video pop right into your library and begin generating. When your videos finish, you can hover over any of the variations to watch all of them play back in real time. For more fine grained control, you can use your mouse to scrub over the videos and watch them play back more slowly. Clicking on a video will bring it into the light box, and you can use the arrow keys to see the different clips in the set. Once you find a generation you love, you can easily build off of it with our editing toolbar. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a number of different ways to edit this clip. You can always make changes to your prompt or storyboard. You can also recut this clip, trimming or extending any section of the video in a new timeline. Remix lets you use natural language to describe any changes you want to make. Blend lets you transform and influence the contents of a video with that of another one. And Loop lets you create a seamlessly repeating section of a video. And voila! Near the top of the screen, you'll see quick actions like favorite, share to feed, and download. Explore is your destination for inspiration. It's where members of the community can come together to share their work, inspire one another, create with each other's clips, and learn new techniques of working with Sora in the process. If you'd like to learn more, you can go down to video tutorials in your user account menu to see more videos on each of the features that we quickly covered today. Thank you for trying out Sora. We're so happy you're here and we can't wait to see what you create. Storyboard is our most advanced editing creation tool that gives you the control to direct actions in a sequence across a familiar timeline. You can reach it by clicking the Storyboard button in the Composer. At the top of the Storyboard, you'll see Caption Cards. This is where you'll describe the setting, characters, and action that you want to occur at a particular point in the clip. Below that lies a timeline where you can sequence your actions in time. Below are the same creation settings from the Simple Composer. Let's start by setting our scene. I want a red crane with a yellow tail to stand in a stream. And then about halfway through, I want it to dip its head into the water. So I'll come down to my timeline and click to create a new storyboard card about halfway through. In this card, I'm going to, I'm just going to describe the next action. The crane dips its head. Perfect. Now, looking back at the timeline, You'll notice that there's space between my first card and my second card. That space is important to preserve because it gives Sora time to connect the first set of actions with the second set. Moving the cards too close together might make Sora create hard cuts in your clip, as it doesn't have the chance to smoothly combine these two scenes. Moving the cards too far away will make Sora have more time to imagine, and it might fill in more details than you want between these two. So. It's really about finding the right pacing for your story to make the results as refined as possible. Review my settings. I actually want this to be landscape. Great. So I'll go ahead and create my video. And here's what the storyboard made. You can see my crane standing in the water and then about halfway through, it dips its head in. In the light box, I can always review the exact cards from my storyboard and I can see where I had placed them along the timeline. If I want, I can always revise the storyboard and create new videos, tweaking the description and the storyboard cards, or the placement and sequencing of the actions. And that's how you storyboard. Loop is an exciting new part of our editing suite that lets you seamlessly repeat any section of an existing video. I have a herd of sheep running across a foggy field in Ireland, so pastoral, and I want it to repeat forever. So we're going to do just that. Clicking loop will take me into the editor at the bottom of the screen. I can see my video and I can also see two handles that let me adjust the section of the video that will be looping. 
Dragging the handle on the right will adjust the end frame, and dragging the handle on the left will adjust the start frame. This looks pretty good. In this example, the first and last frame of my video are fairly similar, so the short loop should work great by default, because Sora doesn't have to add too many frames to make it make sense. But if the first and last frame of the video are really different, it might be best to use normal or long loops to give Sora some extra time to connect those frames more seamlessly. For now, I'll use normal and it should work pretty well. Let's see how it goes. You can see that Sora took that middle section and created a perfect, seamless loop of the sheep running across the field. That's really nice. We can't wait to see the endless cycles of aesthetics that you create. Blend is an experimental editing tool that allows you to transform and influence the contents of one video with that of another. It's kind of like smashing two videos together, and the results can be exhilarating. Here I have a close-up of a monarch butterfly. When I saw this video, I noticed it's a bit still, and it looked a tiny bit like an orchid. I thought I'd generate a few videos of orchids and blend them together to see what would happen. So I'll come down to Blend and choose a video from my library. I can see a handful of blends and orchids, so I'll pick one of them. This will take me to the Blend Editor, where I can see both my butterfly clip and my orchid clip side by side. I can also see that in the middle of both clips is a curve, which lets me know how strong the influence of each video is at a given point in time. The higher up the curve, the more influence the top clip will have. The lower down the curve, the more influence the bottom clip will have. If I scrub through the timeline, I can review exactly what both of my videos show. And I can also grab either handle to trim in or expand how much of each clip I want in this resulting blend. So let's go ahead and blend these two clips and see what we can get. And wow, Blend was able to seamlessly transform my butterfly. In the light box at the bottom, you can see each video that was used to create the blend. If I'm unhappy with this result or I want to try a different curve setting, I can always edit my blend and try again. Happy blending. Recut is one of the most powerful editing tools in Sora, and it lets me trim down and extend any segment of an existing video. We'd like to show you how it works. Sora has given me three distinct cuts of a robot on a remote hillside. Now, I really love this first second, but once it cuts into a close-up, that's just not what I had in mind. So, I'll use Recut to extend this first part into a new five-second video. Recut has now taken my existing clip and imported it into a storyboard. I can see and play back my clip in the timeline, or I can take this and trim my clip down to just the segment that I like. Perfect. Now here's the segment I want to extend, and I'll leave the rest of the timeline empty to give Sora the ability to imagine the extension. So let's hit Create and see what it makes. Here is the result. Sora has now taken my one second of the video and seamlessly extended it into a new five second video. So instead of the three distinct cuts, I now have one continuous shot of my robot on a remote hillside where they've always belonged. Remix is a powerful iteration tool that lets me use natural language to add, remove, or edit objects in an existing video. So here, I have a wide shot of a brutalist home set along the coast. After seeing it, I'm curious what this would look like if it was a mid-century home. So, let me use Remix to achieve that. Clicking Remix opens the Remix editor where I can simply describe the change that I want to see in the video, replace the cement building with a mid-century home, and that change is pretty significant, so using the Remix strength, strong makes a lot of sense here. If I wanted to maybe add a few trees, I could use mild, and it would preserve more of my original video. Now, if I wanted to do something even smaller, like maybe just remove the windows from my building, then I could use something subtle here. But for now, I'll keep it strong. We'll hit Remix and see how it does. And here's what it made. You can see that through remixing that video, I've maintained the camera motion and the setting, but it's replaced my brutalist structure with a mid-century home on the coast. Et voila!